I'm trying to get off the street. I'm trying to get a, a place to live. We're not looking at the American dream anymore. We're just looking to get by, you know, day to day right now. I didn't wake up one day and say I want to be homeless, you know, and, and struggle. From people living on the streets to those fighting to hold on to their homes or just simply trying to make ends meet. We hear from you who wonder, is that American dream still attainable? For those experiencing homelessness, some say a new Phoenix proposal is criminalizing their struggle, while others say it's necessary for safety. Tonight, ABC 15's Ford Hatchet examines the plan from all sides. The city of Phoenix spent the majority of last summer just steps away from the key campus, focusing on cleaning up areas where people were camping on sidewalks. And next week, city council will consider a new amendment that would ban camping within 500 feet of any shelter, school or child care facility. It would be very much my desire that we have a camping ban instituted in a limited capacity um, like San Diego did around schools and around other shelters. We reported on that Phoenix City Council subcommittee meeting in January. Now the council will try to institute a ban similar to San Diego's. There are homeless criminalization laws across the country, and one of the things they have in common is that none of them work. A recent study looked at 100 cities that have no camping ordinances, and on average in those cities, homelessness went up by 2.2%. In Arizona, Prescott already has a similar camping ban, but it's San Diego's policy that Phoenix leaders have looked to the most. San Diego says it's led to safer streets. Regarding specifically San Diego, is, is there anything they're doing that we're not doing? If not, why not? It's unclear what enforcement would look like in Phoenix, but in San Diego, people are first warned and educated on the law, then cited, and on the third instance, there's a potential for arrest. But ABC 15 has learned most citations are thrown out in court if the person says there wasn't adequate shelter available. They struggle with shelter capacity there as well, so that is still kind of an Achilles heel. The National Homelessness Law Center opposes the idea and believes the ban will keep the unhoused further away from finding a home. Stop moving them from place to place. Stop giving people who have no money tickets. We reached out to Phoenix's city council today, but no one was available for an interview. But among at least part of the council, it's safe to say there's a desire for action. So I get the whole you can't criminalize your way out of it. Well, maybe we should try that because what we're doing right now is not working. The amendment will be discussed next Wednesday by a city council subcommittee. In Phoenix, Fort Hatch at ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you, Ford. If you or someone you know is experiencing homelessness, there are resources available. The Arizona Department of Economic Security has several services available, including emergency shelter, rehousing services, and much, much more. The department works with not-for-profit and local organizations to help those in need. Now, if you need assistance, you can call 211 or go to 211arizona.org.